All right, it's week number 16, The Deuce is Loose. This is our show to teach people about autism. Now, Deuce is on the spectrum. He's done pretty well with the help of his mom and his dad and some counselors like Sherry. And here at HTV, we're trying to catapult him into another area. And he's doing very well. He's going to teach us some more gaming today. I was going to do Pong today, but of course, I think Deuce rigged the thing so it wouldn't work right. I'm looking at him. He's laughing right now. But anyway, we're going to go to the intro when we come back. The Deuce is Loose, show number 16. All right, we're back. And once again, this is our autism show, trying to show people out there who've experienced loved ones with autism or they might have students with autism just to show you the breakthroughs that we could do with those that are in the autistic spectrum, so to speak. So Deuce Luke is once again my guest. Deuce, good to see you again. Good to see you, sir. How was your weekend? It was pretty good. A little bit wild, but... How- wild? What do you mean, wild? Well... What's <laughs> wild in your world, Deuce? Well, basically, when me and my mom butt heads a little bit. <laughs> All right. So, so mom, you're telling the world that you and your mom, which is normal, right? Yeah, it's normal. Yes, it's your typical mom, son, or dad, son relationship. That's right. So, and that's a good point because in the autistic world, there's really no difference. You're going to have your opinions. Your mom's going to have your opinion. Let me figure out. Let me see if I get this right. Because I can sometimes figure out. Somebody tells me they got in a little disagreement. You're a very creative person. So you come from the creative fold. Your left brain's firing off. Your mom is very realistic. Realistic expectations. So am I close? You are most certainly on the target. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So we got that straight. All right. So you were going to set me up with Pong because I learned how to play Pong early on. I can remember dad, mom, and all the kids sitting down. I think it was Atari, wasn't it? Atari. Atari, Yes. And we had the machine and everybody would play Pong. And some of them were pretty good. I remember dad being pretty good because he was always had good hand-eye coordination. Mm -hmm. I was pretty good because I had good Mm -hmm. hand-eye coordination. But some of my siblings were not that good. (laughs) So we'd use that opportunity just to roll over. But it was fun. But we're having a little malfunction with Pong today, so we're going to move that next week, right? That's right, next week. All right, can we bring up the screen? What do you have that you... We we, have... We we got rid of the regular stuff this week. I want to broaden the horizon here. So where are we going with this? We are now at the new Super Mario Wonder. We are going to play one player, and we got a whole selection of characters to pick from. From Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, the Toads, Yoshi, and new character, Nabbit. Who? Nabbit. Who is Nabbit? New character. Okay. Came in about a few years ago on a Wii U. Okay, so do you add that or they add that? They add that. All right, so. I never added it. They want to spice it up a little bit. Yeah, I know, right? All right, can you show me, uh, how's this? I never played Mario in my life. Hmm. So let's see how that works. Can we do that? You can. This is a 2D platforming game where you gotta stop the evil King Bowser. Well, Kenneth Koopas, really. So we're gonna go to a level, and this is brand new. We can free roam a little bit. Let's see, um, hmm, like this one. Let's go. Here come the hoppos. This is what the level is called. All right, so difficulty level two. Yeah. Well, the stars rate. Right. Boing, boing. Level two, I'm sure, is pretty easy for you, Deuce. That's right. And you, there's new power up that can allow you to, right, to do that. I'm, I'm surprised they even had that in the first place. You went on level two, so you, look, you can look good on TV, huh? Yes, indeed. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're pretty slick, Deuce. I want to say that. I know. You're pretty. That's pretty good. I would have done the same thing. Thank you. Because nobody wants to look bad on TV. I try my best. So yeah. we're going to stop all these minions. That's what they call them. Well, that's what we call them. Little minions, little henchmen, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Looks like a big beetle to me. It's actually a hippo. Or oh, basically, yeah. Or basically in this world, it's called a hoppo. Ah. So let's see. I go over here, sprint. Now, Mario's oh. been around for a while, right? Indeed. Yes, he has. So what's the main objective of Mario? Uh, basically, you got to gotta stop Bowser, the king of Koopas, from... Capturing Pizza Peach and ruled over the whole Mushroom Kingdom. So in other words, you gotta kick some butt. Yeah, that's right. All right. But all you do is just hopping. You just hop around, use your power ups. Now I like this because there's not a lot of explosives and all that. No, no. This is a very good game for our kids to enjoy and play. Mario's been around for a very, very, very long time. I know, it's been around for a while. And before then, Mario actually had, used to have a time limit. It, so what's the power-up? Is it elephant power-up? Yes, yeah, that's the one we have. The one we have now is the elephant power-up. Basically, it allows water certain plants. And it gets more strength. So, like, if I'm about to go to a break and take a break, you could pause where you're at? That's right. All right, because I don't want to mess you up. There you go. All right, so you've mastered that. Pretty good, huh? Yes. How long have you been playing Mario? For a little bit, honestly. <laughs> it's, All right, what's it's, a little bit in years? Ken? Uh, Probably 10, I guess, because my first Mario game was actually Super Mario 3D World. Okay, cool. You look like you're just going fluid through that. Practice, uh, huh? Practice, actually, yes. Because I actually practiced this game on Monday. Ah, okay. Is this Super Mario or Mario? Super Mario. Super Mario. Okay, Super I didn't Mario know if, Bros. I didn't know if there was a difference. Well, I didn't know if it started as Mario and then became Super. Oh, well, can I tell you a little secret? Yeah. It started out as Donkey Kong. Really? Donkey Kong. I remember Donkey Kong. Well, did you know who, who you're playing as? Mm -mm. Mario. Really? You're playing Mario and you were trying to rescue Pauline. And that was prin Princess in there. I so, had some friends that lived on those big machines and they played that. I was too busy outside playing sports. They were stuck inside playing Mario. Now they could kick my butt in Mario and Pong, but I could kick their butt in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the computer. Let's do and it. So what are some of the other power-ups of, of Mario? Well, there's the bubble power-up, the the flame, the fire flower. Oh. And those are called power-ups. That's right. They're like a little helper, like a little helping tool that will help you out through, through the levels. So is Mario an elephant? Yes, he is. Bob was pretty slick picking that up, huh? Well, it only looks like an elephant. <laughs> honestly, I'm surprised they even got that. They got that in the first place. <laughs> you were surprised I picked up he was an elephant? No, I'm surprised that, that the developers made this. Oh, I got you. Like, talk about power up for, for like a new, for like a new, and this is, this is this new stretch. So mm -hmm. I was surprised. Well, everybody loves elephants. I know. Till they're chasing you. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's a tough one. Oh, oh man. Whoa, wait. What happened there? Well, you got knocked off the uh, thing? Yeah. Did you lose points? No. You got to go back and play again? No, there's a checkpoint. See, because I was forcing you not to concentrate. No, you, no, no. You were answering questions. It's okay, all right? All right, let's let let's roll in. It's perfectly fine. All right. See, yeah. we could just try a new power-up like this one. The parachute cap. I like this one because basically, and you do lose a life. But mm -hmm. I can redeem it with this. Ta-da! Back right. in business. Ah. 
Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> That's a happy little elephant, though. He's always smiling. Yeah. Cute, isn't he? So the idea, you racking up points as you go. That's right, racking them points and try, trying to help out Prince Peach and try to save the whole kingdom with the flowers. And I'm watching your hands as we go. You, you, you know where all the switches are. Yes. Come Boing. second nature, right? Second nature, yes. All right. I'm gonna grab his power. Is there anyone else in the Mario group? That's right, Princess Peach. Luigi, I think I saw it. Mm -hmm. I think I told you about them. Yeah, all in the front. Those are pretty much most of them. And pretty you much. added one. They added one to the game. Yes, and also there's also a scientist, which Luigi knows. Professor Egag. Egag? Egad. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name yet, but I'm pretty sure it's Egad. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? And yeah. we're done. Really? Uh, you finished? We're finished. That's pretty cool. Easy as three seconds. So the course is clear. Now, does Bowser have any minions that he sends out to stop Mario? That's right. The Goombas, the Koopas, Prime Plants, ba bombs, a lot of them. Can you show me those? Where are those? Can we pick one up? Um, no. You can't. That's a different game. You know, there are, there are certain games where you can see them. Okay. But I just don't have the pictures yet. Oh, okay. I got you. So you can't just pull them up because you don't know what they're going to throw at you. No. Okay. Got you. Right. The levels challenge you for different events. Goombas and Koopas are easy levels, but bombs are the hard ones. Okay. Now, do, is there like, for lack of a better word, does anybody get killed in this game? Nah. They just get rolled over and maybe... Knocked down, but nobody dies. Knocked down, no one dies. That's cool. I like that. Especially when you get a one-up, and one-up is like life. Well, I, I promote that then because that's good sensitive. I like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, does Bowser have a son or any kind of uh, what you call mini bosses? That's right. Bowser had his son, Bowser Jr., and the Koopalings. Uh, Larry, uh, Morton, uh, Roy, a lot of them, really. Hmm, that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Who comes up with all this? I guess there's nothing but people that make a living doing gaming, right? Yeah. That's your dream job, huh? Doing that, that and voiceovers and acting. That's right up your alley. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, I could tell. Now, did they ever, I remember when, when we were in the thick of it, Donkey Kong and Mario. There, there seems to be a rivalry between those two. That's right. There is a rivalry. But whenever they're thinking then, they have to come together and try to work together. All right, but so they they're do rivals for a little while till they need each other. Yes. Isn't that pretty much what life is? Mm, that's a good point. Like you said, you and your mom had a little difference this weekend, but in the long run, y'all need each other. Yes, we do. Yeah. So all that, you put all that to the wayside, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's learning 101. You've been pretty good at, at answering these uh, along the way. So let's let's do some life questions, okay? Okay. Do you like horror movies? No. <laughs> I only accept a few horror movies. Like FNAF, for example, it's not tangy horror per se, mm -hmm. but it's mildly scary, so... I hate horror movies. I love them, but I hate them. I know, right? They're better worse, but they're the best as well. I don't like Amityville Horror and The Exorcist and none of that. Me either. That's like, too demonic. I hate them too. Trust me. I but just, I like Bigfoot movies. Bigfoot? I'm a Bigfoot freak. Really? Yeah. Wow. Bigfoot really lives, you know that. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm a Bigfoot freak. All right. I also believe in aliens, but don't let anyone know I that. do too. Too you much do. evidence. I know there's too much evidence to put in. We see it on the news. We see it everywhere. You know basically. when the crash in Roswell, New Mexico happened? You know who was the first one on site? Who? A man from Homa. Oh, Jesse what? Marcel. Well documented. Look that up. I will. Okay. All right. Do you like to listen to audio books? I do. 
Sometimes I'll listen to the 39 Clues, an old classic favorite. And I also listen to Harry Potter. How's that different than reading? Uh, you basically listen to it while you read. Okay, you do both. I should just listen to it. Well, because it gives you the dramatics, you know? Yeah, you can see the voiceovers as well as a good audio input. Okay, cool. The, you, the, the, teller, the storyteller reads it to you and also gives some voiceovers. All right, gotcha. Are you creating a graphic uh, novel about your characters? I'm going to be creating it very soon. All right, when, when can we expect that, you think? Probably to next year, probably. Next year? You're going to keep me posted, right? Yes, of course. All right. All right. So how long have you watched Disney Channel? Uh, as long as I can. I mean, Disney Channel was a fan favorite when I was little. Whenever I was, whenever I was probably three years old, I watched Sweet Life and Zack and Cody and Fiends for... Yeah, but as we get older, like when I got older, we started weaning off of Disney. Yeah, still every now and then when you turn it on and you... I bet you there's not one adult out there that if the Wizard of Oz was not on TV, they wouldn't stop and look at it for a little while. I know. You get hooked on it. I know, right? And also, I'm still into Disney, too. Like, Disney's still a fan favorite of mine. All right. Cool deal. But Disney is changing. So what was your favorite series on the Disney Channel? Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. Jesse. Jesse is a good series because it has comedy uh basically a whole bunch of story mm -hmm. and all that stuff including funny funny butcher moments <laughs> all right cool well there you go i never watched it so i don't know what you're talking about ah, okay. all right uh did you watch disney XD. xd when you were growing up in your teen years that's right my tween years actually whenever i was 12 and yeah. growing up i did watch it i believe i was watching it on the same Disney Now, which was basically the equivalent of Disney Plus. So you're tween years. You're in between. Uh, teenager and. Teenager, yeah. yeah. And, and adult. Yeah. Yeah, okay, gotcha. And what was your favorite, I think you said this, or favorite show on, on XD? Lab Rats. Lab, Lab Rats. Rats was my favorite. I think you told me that in a previous show. I can't be sure. Lab Rats? Yes, Lab Rats. But what's that about? Basically, it's about these group of kids who have beyond bionic powers, who try to stop natural disasters and all that stuff, and they try to save the world while keeping the family together and getting through school. Hmm. Okay. Do you have a, a less, a show you like less, and why don't you like it? Mm -hmm. Well, it has to be the Skylanders show on Netflix. Mm -hmm. They did a poor job creating the show and for a true Skyland fan like me mm -hmm. they gotta do better they have to make it original and they can't really have those characters different voice actors so a guy like you that plays around on the computer a lot once you reach your excellence expectation and you're gonna hold everybody else to that standard right yes so in other words, if you like a certain thing and you feel like you've mastered a certain area, if it comes on TV and it's less than that, it's going to lose your interest. Hmm. I agree, but it's not thing that that is not mastered. It's not well produced. I got you. Like it was a very poor design. The uh, comedy was not that great. The uh, voice actors were not even the the real ones, and the whole story would seem off mm -hmm. see the little sign i put in the hallway you ever read it where we always expect everybody to have perfection but not everybody's going to be perfect mm -hmm. but if you shoot for perfection and you fail at it you know what the next thing down is what excellence i love it yeah it excellence just, is okay i do see it all the time all right all the time. cool deal I made that saying up a long time ago. I thought that sort of fit in production, yes. you know? All right. Are there any new games you want to show coming up? That's right. Well, now, oh, yeah, on the show. Mm -hmm. I thought you meant like for, for reference of other games right now. Yeah. But there are other, other games out there like Pong, mm -hmm. Jurassic World Evolution, which we're going to do soon, and Mario, which we're doing right now. 
All right, so on Pong, you said you had trouble with one of those remotes? Yeah. How much did another remote cost? Actually, I, I got some. You got some? Yeah, because you, I came back with. You going to be uh, ready for me next week? Yes, I think Is so. it on? Any friendly wager you'd like to make? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. <laughs> I don't bet. How about no, no money? I know. We'll just say who gets bragging rights. Oh, okay. How about that? That's good. All right. And uh, we'll do that. We'll come up with something funny. Because we like to have fun on this show. Yeah, something funny. All right. Here's your last uh, challenge, John. Ooh. The Five Nights at Freddy's theme song. You want to leave the show with that? Uh, maybe uh, later. You want to do it next week? Next week. All right, you're going to practice. I will. All right, so that's what we're going to We're going to dare you to do the Five Nights at Freddy's theme song. Perfect. Next week. Okay. You going to bring your A game? I'm bringing the A game. All right, so I'm going to let you leave us. Give us your, your typical, what is it, bada what today? Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang today. All right, there you have it. The deuce is loose, deuce Luke. And I always real quick, deuce, look at the camera. Let's get a close up to do. Tell your grandmother, hello. Hey, Mama, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. All right, she loves to hear from you. There you have it. Show number 16 in the bag. We'll be back next week. Show number 17. Don't miss it. In a world of silence, there's a different kind of language, autism a unique puzzle that brings its own beautiful picture. Where others see a blank canvas, they see boundless creativity. Each day, they awaken with purpose and determination. Their minds are a vast universe, exploring countless subjects with passion. Deuce Luke said it best when he said, Autism is not a disability, it's a different ability. Just like a seed becomes a magnificent tree, they too blossom into something extraordinary. Embrace the beauty of their world. Learn more about autism. Visit Understand Autism for more information. That's www.understandautism.org. You can also find help by calling 800-3-AUTISM. That's 1-800-328-8476. Thank you for watching. The Deuce is Loose here on HTV10.